Hey, it's Anne from Anne Moyer Singing and Phases from One Voice, and I wanted to talk a minute about habits. Any of my students will tell you that I will go on and on and on about habits, how you have to make sure that you drill it until you don't have to think about it. And for that, I credit and blame my martial arts instructor, my Kung Fu and Tai Chi instructor, Sifu Rick Wong out of Melrose, Massachusetts. Hi, Sifu. Um, and the idea being that you had to do something to the point where your body just responded. And that's the only way you were ever going to use something in self-defense. It wasn't just that you were taught a set of movements. You had to go and experiment with it with another student and work out, oh, well, if they do this, this is how this works and this is how you respond. And you had to get the functional bits out of it. Because in the real world situation, and if an engagement happens, you your body needs to just respond. You're not going to have the time to stop and think about it. Now, for singing, when you get up on stage and, you're in, and those lights are in your face or that camera is turned on, you're now engaged with that audience. And that you have one shot to do these things in front of these people or in front of this camera. And so it's kind of that same fight or flight situation. And you'll forget things. And so the more that you can make ingrained habits, like the way you breathe, the way you stand, things like that, the better your performance is going to be and the more confident you're going to be performing. So there's no way through it but through it. You have to drill the different things that you want to be successful at. Uh, I'll borrow from martial arts once again. Bruce Lee said, I do not fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks. I, mean, I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. And that's because it's just so strong at that point. Anyhow, I won't go on too much more. It's four in the morning. Thank you all so much and peace. Bye-bye.